Welcome guys to uh, Revit uh, 5 Minute. Uh, today we will talk about uh, very exciting tools. Uh, tools about the uh, view control bar in Revit. Uh, we will see today temporary hide, isolate, reveal hidden element and uh, the most powerful tool in control view control bar C uh, work sharing display. Uh, work sharing display uh, temporary view properties and uh, reveal constraint. Let's uh, start uh, today. Uh, it's uh, our uh, five minutes uh, about the view control bar. Uh, I will start by selecting an element in a rivet and uh, coming back here in the small glasses. I will click on the small glasses. I, s I can, for example, hide this element or isolate this element. Uh, we will see here hide category and isolate category. This boat is a little bit tricky. We just put, we just click on hide element. Now, what we will see, we'll see this frame here. This frame, that's mean we are in a mode of temporary hide isolate. If we go back here and we see reset temporary hide here, and voila, we have here the wall back again. Um, a second a very uh, powerful tool is here is uh, reveal a hidden element. A reveal a hidden element, for example, something uh, we can you can uh, navigate through the model and you don't see what is uh, you are new in the model. For example, you just uh, uh, start with a new team and you sometimes you explore what's inside the model, but uh, you don't see some some element you can go to VV visibility graphic, for example, and you check. But sometimes it's uh, it's uh, you can uh, uh, you can spend a lot of time going through the categories but if you go here and click on reveal hidden element now you see here in red color that uh, here we have that element they are hidden for example if i want uh, the topography to to be revealed just i selected and hide on hide category here and if I click close, now I have the topography. Uh, the next, uh, the next powerful tool also is uh, here the work sharing display. Uh, just a, a small explanation about work sharing display. Uh, work sharing display you can not have it if you are working in a standalone file. Uh, what I mean by that? Now we are working in a, a shared file. That means the file is already a local file for a central file. That means we have already a create uh, from a standalone file a, a, a central file. If you don't, if it's standalone file, you will don't see that. But I will, we will explain it in next videos uh, in a five minute uh, uh, rivet. Now I go here and I can see who, uh, which, uh, which element in which work set. I click like that, and now you see. For example, I have like here uh, in uh, in this. Uh, in this pink color, the, all the elements here, they are in one work set. If I will explore uh, which, uh, how many, uh, I, the color of work set, I will click here and work sharing display. And here you see, I can have, for example, this work set for shared level and grids here in yellow. And I have this work set here in, in a pink. I will click here and uh, change the color for example to orange or i can click here and change the color to the blue like that and apply and i click ok you see now thank you